December 2, 1942. 3.25 p.m. Under a football stadium in Chicago, 49 scientists are about to do something that will change human history forever. And only a handful of people in the world know it's happening. It's the height of World War II. Nazi Germany is racing to build an atomic bomb. The Manhattan Project America's top secret weapon program needs proof that nuclear fission can be controlled. Physicist Enrico Fermi has a theory. But theories don't win wars. He needs to actually do it. In a squash court beneath the abandoned Stag Field Stadium, Fermi's team built something the world had never seen. Chicago Pile 1. A 20-foot high stack of graphite bricks and uranium 400 tons of graphite, 56 tons of uranium. No radiation shielding. No cooling system. Just cadmium-coated control rods to absorb neutrons and stop the reaction if things went wrong. 49 scientists gathered that afternoon. Among them, the only woman on the team, Leona Woods. Their goal. Create a self-sustaining nuclear chain reaction. If it worked, they'd unlock the power of the atom. If it failed catastrophically, they could irradiate downtown Chicago. At 3.25 p.m., physicist George Wilde slowly withdrew the final control rod. The neutron counters started clicking faster. And faster. Fermi watched his instruments calmly, calculating in real time. Then he announced, the reaction is self-sustaining. For 28 minutes, the pile ran. Atoms splitting. Neutrons flying. A chain reaction feeding itself. At 3.53 pm, Fermi ordered the rods reinserted. The reaction stopped. It had worked. Arthur Compton picked up the phone and called Harvard President James Conant with a coded message, the Italian navigator has landed in the new world. Conant replied instantly, how were the natives? Very friendly. The atomic age had begun. Three years later, atomic bombs ended World War II. Fermi's experiment proved nuclear fission could be controlled, making both weapons and power plants possible. Today, nuclear energy generates clean electricity for millions without carbon emissions. Medical isotopes developed from nuclear research treat cancer. Advanced reactors promise carbon-free energy for the future. But it all started on December 2, 1942 when 49 scientists in a squash court proved humanity could harness the power locked inside atoms. One pile of graphite. 28 minutes. The moment theoretical physics became reality. That's December 2, 1942 the day we split the atom and changed everything. Subscribe for more moments when science changed everything.